In the first installment of the video, we covered how to electroplate fasteners for a restoration using zinc and some common materials. And in the second installment, we're going to cover how to gray and black phosphate plate fasteners and brackets and stuff for a restoration. Um, you know, zinc plating is a relatively expensive process and uh, many of the fasteners underneath a vehicle, you know, the manufacturers are trying to cut pennies. So they'll actually do other things to, um, to try to save money. And the phosphate plating is probably a, a great example where the, 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 pl the phosphate plating itself is not exactly the, doesn't provide a lot of corrosion resistance. But if you look at the structure of the phosphate, it looks like a sponge. And what you actually do is you introduce an oil or whatever within that phosphate plating. It sucks into it, and that's what actually gives you your corrosion resistance. And it's really simple. You know, I have a couple of crock pots here filled with distilled water, and I have a couple of chemicals here that are available at most shooting supply stores and there'll be links to the video of where to buy these. Uh, what I like to do is I like to buy a larger quantity of the gray phosphate and then buy some um, cold gun bluing that's available. And if you mix these two together, that will give you your black phosphate. Whereas if you buy black phosphate, you really can't make gray. So you'd have to buy two containers of you know, gray phosphate and black phosphate and then I just have a little tub of some oil here if you want you can use you know some sort of WT, WD-40 or something like that to, as a substitute but it's, it's, it's pr pretty straightforward these two crock pots have been heated up what you want is you want your product to be about 180 degrees or higher and that really gives you your best results and you know this crock pot right now is at like 190 and this crock pot is at about 180 so we're pretty much good to go and, it, and it's pretty straightforward is you just take your fasteners put it into your solution that's the black take take your gray one that you want to plate and put it in there and wait about 15 minutes we'll pull them out um, you will see the results and then we'll just soak them into the oil okay so these have been sitting in these crock pots for about 10 minutes now and all we'll do is pull them out and then you know being 180 degrees they evaporate off really quickly and so there's our, our black hardware and then we'll come into here and grab our gray hardware and you, and you can definitely see the pronounced difference um, I'll let these kind of do their thing and then we'll just put them into some motor oil We'll flop them around and pull them out and uh, we'll just let them set and you can bag them and uh, and that's pretty much it um, works really well it's it's a really simple process and the fasteners look fantastic you know they'll set that the oil will soak into the into the plating and um, then they'll be ready to install and you know if you have a chassis that's been that has these fasteners that are plated like this you could take a small syringe with a little bit of oil and put it on to them um, every once in a while and that just helps keep them look really fresh um, sometimes into the phosphate plating you'll see some white substance in the bottom that's called snow I'm really not sure what it is but it really doesn't affect your plating at all some people like to strain it out I just leave it and it, and it seems to work quite well um, so 
But anyways, so that's pretty much it. You know, between phase, between the first video and the second video, we've pretty much covered all of the plating that you would need to do for a restoration. And um, it's nice to be able to do it yourself. You know, it does take some time, but it's just really nice to um, be able to do things yourself with the satisfaction and it's relatively inexpensive. So thanks for watching and good luck with your restorations.